All right, everybody, long time no see. Hope the wife, the kids, the dogs, everything's doing great. Um, yeah, it's been quite a while. Quite, quite, quite a while, that's for sure. Um, we do have some stuff in the works. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time uh, writing training classes. I've got two larger projects coming up on the way. One is going to be a basic scan tool introductory class. What is a scan tool? What are its uses? Why do we use them? Etc. 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 The other one is a little project I just started up a couple weeks back, which is basically relearning everything I've learned. Essentially, what I found over time is there's a lot of things I thought I learned well or thought I understood that the more I come to know or the more I come to learn and be exposed to, the more I realize I may have some misconceptions. I may not have as firm of a grasp on it as I would like to. So I've been working on getting together basically a journey from the beginning, starting all over fresh as if it was my first day walking up to a car, all the way up to... I don't even know what to call it. I don't want to call it top-level diagnostician stuff because I'm far from that. But the building blocks, basically. Going over the building blocks once again and showing that it's never a bad time to reevaluate your level of knowledge, your level of understanding, and rebuild. And rebuild may sound negative. Maybe, maybe we should say build upon or build out from, but essentially expand your understanding, expand your horizons, so on and so forth. The reason I'm going into all this, and I'm not going to edit this, I'm going to be completely honest, so bear with me. I did write up some notes, but the likelihood is I'm not going to follow any of them, even remotely close, because that's what I do. I ramble. But a couple things have come to mind recently, so this might end up being more of a... A PSA, public service announcement, but not in like the cool, trendy 1980s way of doing it, which was fun and hilarious. Um, last year sucked. Flat out, it sucked for a lot of people, for a lot of different reasons. We don't need to get into it further than that. Everybody's got their own reasons, but it wasn't the best year, even though there were some good things that happened. And I knew it threw me for quite a loop, well, quite a few loops, to be completely honest. And I, I bailed out for a while. You know, I just focused on work, a lot of work, maybe too much work, but focused on it and was doing my own thing. And kind of got away from a lot of the things I liked doing in the industry and kind of going through this constant struggle of I need to deal with what I need to deal with and I want to make sure, you know, I'm doing good with everything. But I also felt bad that I wasn't doing enough to help all the people in the industry, especially after so many people in the industry have spent time helping me. It's a tough thing. Plus, I'm not somebody who likes the spotlight at all. I mean, just... Sitting here in front of the camera is more for your benefit than for mine. It's easier to listen to somebody ramble on if you can at least see them. If I could get somebody else to do this for me, I probably would. But once again, I'm digressing. Point of all this is, I was watching a video of, I don't want to call it so much motivational spe speech, but just some thoughts. Um, my best friend had posted this a, a little while ago, and it was a really good message, and some of you people might scoff at it a little bit, but it's the whole point that at the end of the day, you put the time in, you put the effort in, and you do what you need to do to get to where you want to be, then you're going to be enough. You know, You can do it. You can make it happen if you put the effort in. Why I'm saying that is part because of what I was dealing with and part because of what I, lot, I see a lot of people deal with. Um, a lot of things I see on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube comments where people feel they aren't good enough, aren't smart enough, aren't quick enough, whatever it may be. 
to learn something, to do something, to achieve a certain level of success. And honestly, that's just flat out not true. You put the time in, you put the effort in, and you really, really work at something, you can achieve it. You can. I've seen it happen a million times. And I think what a lot of us get caught up on are, is the difference between people who are naturally talented and so a lot of the stuff comes easier for them. They may be more mechanically minded, more electronically not uh, minded, more programming, board level, EE prom level. You know, certain things come more naturally to certain people than others. But what I've also found from that is if you don't have somebody pushing you forward, be it yourself, others, or a combination of that, no matter how naturally talented you are, eventually you will stagnate and you will fall behind, and I find oftentimes it's the people who struggle the most learning something who end up far surpassing their peers. So what's all that mean? It means you are enough. Don't give up, put the effort in, and you can get there. It's gonna suck sometimes, it's gonna be difficult. There's going to be things you run across. There's going to be things that make you want to throw in the towel, quit, and say, I can make a lot more money doing something else. There's going to be a lot of times when you want to jump ship, move to another shop, do this, do that, do the other thing. I can't tell you on a case-by-case -case basis. I can tell you, you put the effort in, you work damn hard, and if you truly have a passion for it, you're going to make something of yourself. You're going to do great things. That's all well and good, right? You're doing good things for yourself. What else are you doing, though? Every time you have something you struggle with, that you succeed in, you surpass your own expectations, you put the effort in, and you make that step or achieve that tier you never thought possible, you're inspiring those around you. You may not be on YouTube. You may not be posting on Facebook or uh, Instagram or whatever the 8 million other social media things are that are out there. You may not be one of those people out there doing it. But those around you are seeing it. They may not be a mechanic, technician, diagnostician. It may be a friend, a family member. It may be a mild acquaintance. But basically, people see you putting that effort in and see you succeeding and see the happiness, the satisfaction, and the confidence you gain from knowing you built that, not only on your own, but with the help of others, but you built that skill level and yourself up to that, it inspires them. You may not think it. You may think you're not enough. You may think that there's a thousand and one other people who are a million times more intelligent than you are, and they deserve to be out there in the public eye and they're the ones who are motivating people and you're just kind of in the background doing whatever it is you're doing, nothing could be further from the truth. You are motivating a lot more people than you will ever realize. You really are. And recently, like I said, I've been dealing with some of that. You know, I'm not the belief I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not a good enough teacher, I'm not doing enough for the industry, I'm being selfish, dealing with what I'm, you know, things that are more important to me currently. And a really, really, really ridiculously intelligent guy kind of followed along the lines of what my best friend was saying about people being enough and put it in a different perspective for me. I don't like being in the public eye. I don't, don't especially like being in front of a camera. I do enjoy teaching people but I never want it to be about me. And he ran into a similar situation with his mentor where he sat down with his mentor one day and said, hey, listen, I don't want to be seen as a know-it-all. I don't want to be seen as that guy. I don't want the spotlight, the fame, the anything. I just want to do what I do. And I want to be the best at it, and I want to pass that on to other people. But I'm scared that people are going to judge me. I'm scared that... People are going to call me out on mistakes and it's just going to be awkward and inconvenient and just not fun for me. 
It's my paraphrasing of the general story. And what his mentor said to him was, okay. He goes, then don't ever teach anybody anything. And my friend sat there and said, well, where would I be if you did that? And he goes, exactly. And that's kind of how it is. You know, as uncomfortable as certain things may make us, if we enjoy doing it and we feel we have something to add, and even if we don't necessarily think we're the best or we're inspiring or anything else, do it anyway. Give back to all the people who have given to you. I know we get so much from anything from our regular service info to service manuals to discussion forums to social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, the 8 million other ones I'm not thinking about that everybody's probably on because I'm behind the times. Don't be afraid to give back. Whatever it may be, it may be something you think is incredibly trivial and it can make a huge difference in somebody else's life, even if it's just to show that, hey, I'm here, I ran into a problem with this vehicle, this is how I approached it, this is how I struggled, this is how I got through it, with help, support, with analytical thinking, with A, B, C, D, E, and F, whatever it may be. A case study. You don't need to make a video, you don't need to make a you know, self-congratulatory post. You don't need to have it spread all over. You could tell the guy next to you in the base, and that'll get further than you ever think it will. Maybe not be directly, but the pride you feel and the accomplishment you achieved, the guy in the bay next to you or the girl will take that and they see that, and that may motivate them a little bit. And that little bit of extra motivation raises them up just a little bit. And that extra motivation and positivity kind of exudes to everything and everyone around them. And so it really does benefit everything. And by bringing yourself up and allowing yourself to share that unselfishly, openly, not afraid of being judged, not afraid of people calling you on the mistakes or how you're going to be viewed, you will inevitably bring all those around you up who continue to bring those around them up, and it's it's a positive feedback loop. It's actually kind of a beautiful thing, and that's a lot of words put together that I don't normally use all at once. I am not exactly the world's most optimistic person, but I don't know. I, I, I've seen a lot of people way better than me who struggled a lot from the circumstances of the past year and the continuing circumstances who, despite them struggling, despite them having a hard time, went above and beyond and still continued to do everything they could to bring up all those around them. And I know I did not do that the way I should have, but that's why I'm coming back. I'm going to be doing as much as I can, getting some more content out for you guys, trying to teach and educate or just share my failures in certain things. Because if we bring one person up, we exude just a little bit of positivity, that positive feedback loop gets its first bit of fuel, and it just keeps going and going and going. Um, As a good friend Steve Scott says, you know, stronger together. And that's really what we are. We all have our ups, we all have our downs, we all have our stuff we're dealing with, but Let's get back together. Let's, you know, 2020 is 2020. 2021 is 2021. Let's see what we can do. Let's work together to build not only ourselves, but each other. And let's make something pretty freaking awesome, right? I don't know. It's a ramble. It's a PSA. It's whatever you want it to be. It's some thoughts on my mind, and it was really brought on about by that video that I hadn't watched in quite a while now that just was kind of reminding me, you are enough. You just got to have the bit of confidence in yourself and the bit of motivation to get yourself where you need to be. Be it at work. I mean, I know this is automotive, off-road, heavy-duty focused. Um, but, you know, beyond just at work, 
at home, in friendships, in relationships in general, in society. You are enough. You're good enough. You can do it. I mean, as mechanics, technicians, diagnosticians, whatever you want to call yourself, what do we do all day? We get paid to analyze things, analyze the data, come up with a valid solution, and then implement that solution. Let's not leave that at work, right? Let's take that same general mentality and apply it to all parts of our lives. If we feel we're not doing good enough at home, let's see why. Let's look at the data. Let's come up with a solution. Let's implement it. It's what we do. It's what we're good at. It's where our passion lies. So, like I said, this is rambled on long enough. This is kind of not really my thing, but I'm throwing it out there. Um, everybody can take it how they will. And I'm hoping within the next week or two, I can get the first installment of the new series out there for y'all. And we go from there. But let's do 2020 as a year of not New Year's resolution improving ourselves, but actually improving ourselves and allowing that self-improvement to improve all those around us. So, yeah. Y'all have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one.